This is a uh, brand new Springdale 38 here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And though this has the size of, it is not what people would refer to as a destination or park trailer. Although we have kind of blurred that line with some things like just the, uh, the residential refrigerator, the sliding glass patio door there, things you would expect on a destination type trailer. What's nice though is uh, this is just going to come in at a more affordable dollar um, point than some of the uh, big giant park models that you'll see out there. And you still get all the things that you love out of a Springdale, this awesome full body color package. Um, we like to put bigger air conditioners in these. We do like to enclose the underbellies. There's a lot of good things going on here. There are uh, a lot of reasons why this is the number two selling conventionally built trailer out there. Conventional meaning wood frame aluminum skin. Um, this is also the number one selling brand name from Keystone. They build and sell more Springdales down there than anything else. Um, couple, you know, every every trailer is the best for a different reason. I really believe that. That's why we carry so many different brands. I want to show you a couple of things that's really slick on a Springdale. It's really windy today. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but there's no hold back on this door. Now you see how the wind is causing this thing to wiggle, but it's not flying open. You can push on it and it doesn't fly open, even though I pushed it with the wind. That's because this is a friction hinge door. And it's important because your big, uh, roughly 20 foot power awning starts right here. And if this door wasn't friction hinged, it would fly open, smash that awning, then you'd have a repair on your hands. Now you don't have to worry about it. Um, now as you, uh, you'd primarily enter through the living room. Um, this one just came in, so we haven't uh, removed the safety travel lock from that. So I slid in through the back door here. But this gives you a perfect shot when you wake up of, you know, you walk into your living room, big giant super slider. And that's another thing that is uh, kind of a, a cool part about Springdales is they generally have bigger super slides with bigger windows than most things in their class. Now this has uh, a couple of their new interior updates, like the, uh, the high def countertops. And it's just gorgeous. It looks a lot like a creek bed or a quarry, something like that. This color scheme is called Morel, but keep in mind we sell a bunch of these, so the the colors of the one you're purchasing might be slightly different. I always like to mention that. Um, double check our pictures. I try to keep those more up to date. Cool little charging center here has both a 12 volt power point. Growing up, we called them a cigarette lighter, and then next to it's a USB charger. And those are perfect for things like your phones, um, tablets, uh, all that kind of stuff. On any of your mobile devices, it helps keep them you know, charged in, in one convenient spot. And actually, while I'm talking about those, in this particular model, they did add a second charging station in the perfect spot right here. Because you can set your phone here and wirelessly Bluetooth to your DVD stereo and never miss a call. Um, you know, never uh, miss a beat on your music, anything like that. And you also have a spot for wall chargers. It, this is an incredibly well thought out model. Now, the signature of this one obviously is the giant front living room with this very residential looking wraparound sofa. This is a nap, napping couch, man. You could come in after a long day and just kind of plop down on here and crash for a while. Um, there is extra storage under the front here. There's a lot of good things going on with this. And this sofa is a hide -a bed by the way. Um, what is that? It's roughly about a 40 inch TV. Pretty good sized television, give or take an inch or two. Um, I did mention the, uh, the stereo here, which is also Bluetooth enabled. And you see we have an electric fireplace down here. Um, whenever you're plugged into shore power, that'll give you a way to heat your uh, living space without burning up your propane. Although, like I did mention, this does have an enclosed underbelly and your fresh water tank is insulated so this will do fairly well through the majority of the camping season I wouldn't call this a four seasons coach I don't want to confuse people um, but I mean as long as the parks are open you're fine now look at this overhead cabinet here you notice how it's the the top trim board it starts thin and then it gets rather wide as you go that's because this is the only conventionally built trailer with a vaulted domed interior ceiling that is one of the reasons it feels so darn big in here is that it has a seven foot tall interior ceiling that means bigger cabinets more headspace and for a tall person like me more room in the shower that is something that i really like um big giant extra large countertop on here with a uh um a little breakfast nook area and something that i've always personally liked some people like them some don't but I like Venetian blinds on this big giant door. I love those things. I don't know why. Um, 
your flooring on this one is normally on a spring dowel, let's say one piece. Uh, a longer rig like this, it's probably two piece. And uh, what that's just going to mean is that there's far, far fewer seams where uh, the boards can kind of bounce and wiggle going down the road. Now I mentioned the larger refrigerator here. You see this is a full residential refrigerator. Now this uh, uh, you know, is generally intended for use on 110 shore power and obviously does not have a propane unit in it like a traditional RV fridge would. Uh, I think I mentioned when I was outside the uh, air conditioner is something we always like to upgrade to a 15 instead of a 13.5. What that means in English is 50% more cooling power. And you see that every little extra space they had, they opened up for storage here. Um, this is your uh, bathroom as you walk through. And you do have a, a standing fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. And again, I did mention all that extra headroom in the shower in here. Let me give you a real life example. With my boots on, I'm at least 6'3". And you can see how much room I have above my head right here. There is tons of space. So there you have it. Also here, we do have an extra linen closet right in the bathroom because it blows me away how many of these RVs are built and ha that leave you nowhere to keep a towel next to the shower. If I mean, if there's one place you need a towel, it's next to the shower. And also, even though this is one of your starter point lines at, at Keystone, it is very quality built. Listen to this. This is a porcelain stool. Same stool they use in Alpine and Montana in anything. Um, they stock and use so many of these that it would literally cost them more money to have a cheap junk plastic tool instead. It's just a nicer unit. Um, one thing I do like to point out, this is a nice wide hallway. You don't have to feel like you're sneaking through a little labyrinthian corridor here. They even put little power outlets up here for extra lights. Just every, they really thought out every little nook and cranny. A little uh, knick-knack cabinet in the corner, just random stuff cabinet. And a big hallway window as you walk through. And notice we're looking at pleated shades, not metal blinds. Those are going to last longer for you and they won't get bent up. Now, like I said, this one just came in. We literally haven't even hung the screen door on that big glass patio door I was showing you. But, uh, I mean, a big window in the back really lets in a lot of light. And something I like to point out is you notice the accent walls on end walls. Like, you notice that was probably, you probably saw it up front too. Just to add that depth and that color and character to it. And this is a deep, deep slide. And notice that all of your windows here, um, you know, have their own little window treatments as well. Uh, for extra storage space... You see that uh, they have the additional wardrobe over here. They they did not go with a full rear wall wardrobe because you'd lose this big window. And a cool thing on these 38s is 50 amp service. If you wanted to, you could kill this vent and install a second air conditioner in here. It I mean, it really does it all. Um, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.